Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to receive Forex data on the multi-charts trading platform. So first up, once you do have multi-charts downloaded, you'll notice in the top left here, there are three separate tabs. We have Interactive Brokers, Oanda, and Rhythmic01. Oanda will be your key to accessing Forex data on this platform. Now, please keep in mind that if you don't already have one, you will need a live Forex trading account or a demo one for that matter to access Forex, Forex data, and you will need an Oanda account. Now, if you'd like, you can just go to Oanda's uh, website here and then click on create a demo account and go through that process there. If you're interested, you can contact us as well. We can get you set up with a live Forex trading account, so don't hesitate if you're interested. If you need any assistance, we can help you out with an Oanda demo as well. So please get in touch with us if you are interested in trading Forex on multi-charts. So now once you have signed up on Oanda, if you've gotten a demo through us and you have an active account and you've created your username and password, come back to multi-charts now and we'll need to right click on Oanda and click on connect. Now, if you don't happen to see these or you've been using multi-charts in the past and you may have either customized these or gotten rid of these tabs, you can always go down to File, click on Broker Profiles, and then Manage Broker Profiles. Now, from here, you may need to click on New, and then as you can see, there are a ton of different brokers here that you can connect to. So, like I said, if for whatever reason, Oanda isn't there or you may have removed it in the past, just come through the broker profiles menu and click on new and then click on Oanda there. It is worth mentioning that if you are using multicharts.net that you won't actually be able to receive Forex data on that version of the platform. So just keep in mind that this is for the base version of multicharts. So now that we have Oanda added here as a tab and we do have an Oanda demo account, we can right click on this Oanda tab and then left click connect Oanda. Now you just need to give it a second and then as you can see here, we will be presented with the Oanda network login demo. So like I said, just type in the username that you created for yourself and then enter in your password that you also created for yourself. And once you have done so, click the green sign in button. Now, after a second, as you can see here, it will be automatically routed to Oanda's uh, data server. And you can see here, it does ask you to grant permission through Oanda to multi-charts. You'll just need to select the account if you do have multiple, if you're trading with live or whatever the case may be. Select your trading account there, read through the terms and conditions, and then click allow. After you do click allow, it may just take a second to configure. So let's wait for that and allow Oanda to grant permission to multi-charts. And as you can see here, once you have granted permission, a green uh, bubble there on that Oanda tab will, it will turn green from red, representing that you are now connected to the Oanda data feed. And you can now begin to receive Forex data on multi-charts. Okay, so now that we are connected to the Oanda feed, you may be asking, how do I actually pull up a Forex symbol? This takes just a bit of customization and configuration on your part. So once you do have that green status bar there on the Oanda tab, we can come up to open new quote manager window, as you can see where my mouse is currently hovering over, and left click that. Now, once the quote manager window is open, you'll see there's a ton of different symbols here. You may need to, if it isn't already added, you can go through here and find the data source. And if it is added, you can just simply enable that. Since we are starting from scratch here, I would suggest to go through the instrument tab here on the top right, click on add symbol, and then go down to from data source. Now, since we are using Oanda, we'll select that data source. And as you can see here in the insert symbols into portfolio window, we are filtered under Forex, as you can see here. 
So now we just simply need to type in the Forex symbol we'd like to add to the platform. So we can type in the generic US dollars, USD, and click on lookup. Now this should populate every single Forex symbol or contract there or instrument that is related to the US dollars. If you want, you can click add all to add every single contract or instrument there to your platform. For now, we'll stick with the basis and we'll just add one. Again, you can do this at any time in the future. So if you need to, just rewind the video. So you'll highlight the instrument that you'd like to add to your platform and click add. You'll see you get a confirmation there and then we can click OK and we can actually close this out for now. So like I mentioned, if you had already added a symbol or you're using one of these other feeds and it is populated in here, you can scroll through this giant list here and find your exact instrument. If not, I also suggest going through this far left sidebar here, this little um, directory. As you can see, we have one Forex symbol where I'm currently hovering over in there. And now our Forex is filtered out. We only have the one contract that we just added. And as you can see under the data source field, it is a Wanda. So that's a good way to always confirm that you are enabling the right contract. Once we found that US dollar versus Canadian dollar, we can simply right click the, uh, the symbol there, highlight it and right click. And then we'll need to click on connect symbol. Once you have connected it, you should start to see data receiving in. And that essentially tells you that you can now start trading this or pull up data for this contract. If you haven't done this, it is likely that you won't be able to pull up this contract with live data flowing through. So just keep that in mind. We can close, the, close this out and now we can open up a chart as we typically would. As you can see, there's a bunch of predetermined default charts on this platform. Feel free to close those out if you'd like. For now, we'll just go through the normal create chart window. We'll need to select our data source. So again, we're using Oanda. If there was a ton of instruments here, if you've already added a bunch, you may need to type in the instrument search bar. Being that we only have one added to our platform, we can just click OK. And if we give it a moment, our data should flow through and we should be able to pull up the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar instrument. And there we have it. So again, real simple, you just need to go through that quote manager window each time you want to add a new Forex trading instrument. If you do have a ton on your mind, feel free to just get those all out of the way initially, add them, connect them, and then you can pull up either your dome or your chart for the specific instrument you had in mind. But that just about wraps it up for this video. Again, if you'd like to try out an Oanda demo or you'd like to open a live Forex trading account, feel free to reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to help set you up. If you have any questions on the platform, feel free to post them down in the comments below or post them on our forum. I'll also post that in the description. That is community.optimistfutures.com. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.